For those that don't know, these 10 questions come from inside the actor's studio. They're the 10 questions James Lipton would ask the guests at the end of every interview. Uh, very simple questions. I like to think of them as deceptively simple, uh, where you get to learn a little bit more about the guests. Okay. So here we go. Are you ready, Natalie? I think so. All right. First question. What is your favorite word? My favorite word is... Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. I like <laughs> Well, tell me yes. <laughs> oh, I dig it. Dig it. Right yeah. on. <laughs> I like when people tell me yes. I like when I get the green light. I like yes. I like yes. <laughs> dig it. Dig it. Next question. What is your least favorite word? Um, I think, <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, I won't be that annoying. Um, <laughs> I mean, actually, what is interesting about no is it. Listen, I think it's okay to say no a lot of things, but I think I don't like I don't like the word. It's so hard. I wish I had thought of this a little better, but I don't like the word. Um, I guess I don't like the word hate. You know, I don't like the word hate. I think that is a a very, you know, dark, ugly word. And I don't like that. And, but back to the no thing, I guess I don't like, I don't like people who instantly say no to something without fully hearing or understanding what it is. Um, I think it's completely okay to say, you know, yes or no to something when you have heard all the scenarios and facts. Maybe that's the Libra rising in me. I like a balance. So I have a lot of, you know, people who are just kind of like, will say no to things in life without, you know, really understanding what they are and being, not being open to them. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a long, boring way to say that. Anyway. Heck no, dude. That was a perfect way to say it. Perfect okay. way to say it. All right. And that's not to say no isn't good when it comes to boundaries because boundaries are wonderful. Yes. Um, that's true. I do like boundaries. So it's, um, it's not really no. It's like, it's more of like a vibe. I'm like, I don't know if I have a, it's more like vibes. Yeah. It's on, like it, my least favorite vibe, vibe is like, eh. it, and my, it, my favorite vibe is. <laughs> dig it. Dig it. Yeah. Ah, right on. Next question. <laughs> what turns you on emotionally, spiritually, or mentally? I think what turns me on um, all those ways is creativity. I love collaboration. I think collaborating with people, whether it would be, you know, socially where you're like in a conversation and you're just collaborating about, you know, life's philosophies and things like that. I love that. Or when you're collaborating with someone creatively and like building something or when you're, I even think like, you know, watching things or reading things is like a way to collaborate with the artist that created them, which springs ideas in you and all these things. So I think those are, that's kind of what I love in life is, is togetherness and collaboration. Mm. Take it. Thank you. Next question. Okay. What turns you off emotionally, spiritually, or mentally? I think I kind of said this, but I think people who are not open-minded, um, you know, those people that are closed off and stuck in their own way and aren't able to see outside themselves. Um, I think one of my the philosophies of life is I always take responsibility for myself and what's going on in my life. And I try my best to not blame others or things outside of myself. And so I think people who just outwardly blame everything around them on things outside of themselves and don't ever look within is, is really something I find to be hard to connect with and, and is a turnoff to me. Mm. Right on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cool. Next question. What sound or noise do you love? 
Oh, do I love? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say hate. <laughs> I know that one really. <laughs> um, I love laughter. I mean, listen, I'm an actor. I love making people laugh. I love watching an audience laugh. Actually, one of our things at Rockwell was sometimes when I would stand off stage before I would make an entrance or I wasn't in the scene, I would watch the audience watch the actors and just laugh uncontrollably and and see them just forget for whether it was a minute what was going on in their day. Um, to me, that is is like the best thing ever is laughter. Mm. Dig in. Next question. What sound or noise do you hate? Feeding noises. Oh my <laughs> God. I will punch you in the face. <laughs> um, so hard. And it's so funny. Sometimes my husband, like his eating noises really bother me, but it's really only because I think <laughs> we've been together 13 years and just sometimes He's not like a messy eater or a loud eater, but like just sometimes it like gets in my brain and ear more than others. Like he tends to drink water very loudly and I don't like I just don't understand that. I'm a very silent water drinker. And so a loud water drinker is like I'm like, really? I, I can't I can't even hear myself think. So is he a gulper, a slurper? What's <laughs> Like a gulp it's like a it's like a throaty gulp thing like there's air in there and I'm like that can't be comfortable because I don't like to gulp I don't like to get air in there anyway <laughs> working on it I mean if anything that's just evidence of how close y'all have grown as a couple <laughs> as a friend as a friend you know just living together that you notice the smallest things like how he gulps his water I can't think man. yeah i like during the pandemic, it got kind of like worse, obviously, because we were quarantined together. So he used to do this thing. He does not do it anymore because I think I, I freaked out about it so many times. But he used to do this thing where he would hold the water and he'd be watching TV and he would just go. <laughs> like one of those little and toys? Would, like tiny little sips, like tiny little sips. Like, so at the corner of my eye, all I'm seeing is like this <laughs> movement. And I'm like, I can't watch this thing right now because you're drinking like a hamster and it's driving me crazy <laughs> i was like just take some sips put it down sit back relax and get a drink again later but i yeah. don't know who's listening but some someone's got to put a camera in 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 the land in your household because we got i oh you got to make that into you got to put that on on screen or film or something that uh, god damn the way he's sipping i can't think man <laughs> Say in his defense, he's probably fine, and I'm the I'm the total asshole about it. It's me. It's me. Ah, uh, dig it. Solid balance. Next question. Okay. All right. What is your favorite curse word? Oh, uh, you know that really does change a lot. Um, I tend to say like it's not a curse word, but I do have some like things that I say a lot, which is like. That's cuckoo bananas. And I know that's not a curse word, but like I say that a lot and people are like, where did you come up? Where did you, where did that come from? I'm like, I don't know. We say cuckoo bananas. Um, you know, I like a classic fuck, you know, I'm also, but I'm not afraid of the word cunt. Like it doesn't bother me, nice. you know, sometimes someone's like a cunt and that's a really cutting descriptive word. Um, yeah. Nice. Right on. Yeah. Next question. Okay. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Uh, well, like, I mean, do, I guess writing has been a new kind of thing, but I think that's kind of still in within the realm. If I were to pick something completely, totally out of the entertainment world, I guess I really enjoy party planning. Like, I like... I like planning parties. Nice. Right yeah. on. Yeah. All right. Next question. What profession would you not like to do? Ugh. There's so many. I mean, 
there's so many professions out there that I'm like, so admire people who do that, you know? Um, I think, like, I, I, like, I admire people who work in the, um, you know, delivery, package delivery industry. Like, I mean, what an exhausting physical job that you have. I mean, I can't even imagine doing things like that. So it's like, that's something like, I feel like, well, I physically could never do it. But also I just, I, I like really like so much heavily relies on those people. Um, same with like our mailman. Like sometimes our mailman will come and deliver mail at 9 PM. And I'm like, he's walking in the dark with our mail. And like, I could never do that. And I just really admire people like that. Um, but like a job, like I would never want to do is probably like, I don't know. Is there a person who like slaughters the animals at the slaughterhouse? Like, yeah, that, that job. I, I'm like, no, no, thanks. Oh yeah. That's a hard one. All right. Mm -hmm. Solid yeah. answer. Solid. Yeah. All right. And final question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say as you enter the pearly gates? I would say you did it, you know, like you did it. You did all the things you wanted to do. You achieved the things you wanted to achieve. You did it and you did it well. So that's what I want to hear. You did it. Hell yeah. Well, hey, you did it. You got to the end of the podcast.